A list of the most popular video games of all time is quite monotonous. The same themes, plots, character archetypes, and dialogue appear over and over. One video game that stands out from the rest is Portal. Portal is a puzzle-based first-person shooter that was first released in the orange box, along with two other games in 2007. The player finds himself or herself in the Aperture Science Laboratory's Aided Enrichment Center as the female protagonist, Shell. Guided by an AI named GLaDOS, the player navigates through 19 levels of puzzles using portals as a way to transport Shell and other objects into different rooms or platforms. Although the player does not have any recurring enemies, as part of the test, the Enrichment Center features a variety of obstacles that endanger Shell's life. The beginning objective of the game is to solve the puzzles as part of the experiment, but in the final level, the player realizes that the main objective is to escape the enrichment center and defeat the AI, GLaDOS. Portal is one of the most groundbreaking games. Several of its highly original characteristics have made a huge impact on the gaming industry. Portal's unconventional dialogue, plot, and unique take on feminism have generated an enormous amount of praise from critics and players alike. Portal's dialogue is very unique in that it conveys dark humor from a single character's perspective and is used to move the plot forward, while other first-person shooter games use actions and explosions to advance the plot. Many games in the 2000s utilize dark humor, but the way Portal uses it is what sets it apart from other games. One use of dark humor is the glitchy nature of the antagonist. The antagonist, GLaDOS, leads the character through the game. But often, when guidance is needed the most, its voice glitches out. Leaving the player to figure out how to progress through the game on their own. This becomes a recurring part of Portal and eventually turns ironically humorous. Another example of dark humor in Portal is at the end of the game, when GLaDOS tries to entice the player into surrendering by offering them cake. The famous line, the cake is a lie, is an example of dark humor because it takes a colorful image cake and references it in a manipulative way. This line becomes a very famous internet meme and is perhaps the most iconic aspect of the Portal game. In the final round, GLaDOS uses sarcasm to lure the player to his or her death by using the cake analogy as well as false sarcastic advice. This implementation of dark humor in a video game is something distinct to Portal. No other game at the time utilized sarcasm and dry humor the way that Portal did. What are you doing? Stop it. Hi, hi, hi. We are pleased that you made it through the final challenge where we pretended we were going to murder you. This makes Portal unique because in other games that came out around that time, such as Assassin's Creed and Bioshock, players interacted with people other than the protagonist and antagonist, which allowed the player to learn a lot about not only their character, but also the game itself. Through the lack of dialogue and supplementary characters, Portal was able to provide an experience for players unlike any other game at that time. Unlike any other games at that time, Portal also implemented a dramatic plot twist. At the end, the plot picks up rapidly as a computer system tries to murder the player and the player is forced to figure out how to survive. It becomes evident that levels 1 through 18 were simply training ground for the last level in which the true objective of the game is revealed. It is at this point that the player realizes what is going on and how the whole experiment was a trap and that they have to make the portals in order to escape the lab. The player has to defeat the computer system as well as make it out of the lab alive so that they do not end up dead as the other test subjects did. Before Portal, a dramatic twist at the end of the game was unheard of. During the last level, the game shifts from a puzzle game to a first-person shooter game. Portal engineered the concept of switching game genres in the middle of the game. Another aspect of Portal that separates it from other games is its theme of human versus technology. The conflict of human versus technology is unique to Portal in that it makes some critical adjustments to the conflict that are unprecedented. The idea of the mad scientist who threatens society's well-being was made popular by Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Shelley also popularized one of the classic stereotypes of scientists in literature, the inhuman researcher. Portal takes this trope to a new level, with a researcher who is literally not human, making the game highly innovative. The human versus technology conflict is rarely seen in video games, likely because video games inherently involve cooperation with technology. For example, in Halo 3, another popular game of 2007, the player finds themselves relying on technology, an AI named Cortana, to fight the enemy. In Halo, technology is a friend, not a foe. Portal, however, uses the AI as an enemy. The final boss in Portal is GLaDOS, who then tries to kill Shell. 
The main theme of Portal, Human vs. Technology, separates it from other games, which mainly implement the human vs. human conflict. Another unique quality of Portal is its first-person shooter narrative. A study conducted by Dr. Philip Bonanno, a professor at the University of Malta, along with Dr. Piet Commers, a professor at the University of Twente, found that males preferred first-person shooters, role-playing games, and sport games. So, were the creators of Portal purposely clashing ideals of gender representation by using Shell as the lead character? Portal, unlike most other games, does not allow the option to create or modify the avatar. The lead character's identity is a minimal detail of the game, and the narrative itself is the most important aspect. But the significance of Shell goes beyond just her, peer her appearance. In Portal, the female lead does not fall under a usual submissive role, in which a dominant male character comes to the rescue. Instead, the gamer relies only on Shell and the mental puzzles they need to solve through the use of her as an avatar. Portal's lead character breaks the stereotype of objectified females within games. Compared to Laura Croft in Tomb Raider Anniversary, which was also released in 2007, Shell has her whole body covered in clothing and has realistic female body proportions. Shell is portrayed as a strong female lead in which each gamer must use only mental abilities in order to move up each level. The game as a whole advances the empowerment of females and their cognitive skills as opposed to their objectification both in the gaming world and in the real world. In the typical video game, female characters are objectified, personifying gender stereotypes in every shape and form. Unfortunately, gender stereotypes have become pervasive in new media. Studies show that male characters appear more frequently, speak more, and engage in more leadership behavior than female characters. Meanwhile, female characters in video games are passive, subordinate, and their roles are usually centered around sexual relationships. Female characters in video games usually fall under one of four categories. Sexual objects, feminine roles, victims to be saved, or heroes slash action characters. One study suggests that only 15% of video games portray females as heroes or action characters, displaying how unusual it is that Portal, a highly popular game, has a female lead. In fact, of the top 25 best-selling video games of 2013, only one had a female lead. The days when men were the primary consumers for video games are long gone. Current statistics show that 48% of gamers are female. However, the shift in market trends has not translated to characters in video games. Hence, the fact that Portal, a highly popular video game, has a female lead makes it extremely unique. Portal is one of the most original and innovative video games. Portal introduced several new gaming aspects to the video game industry, causing its creators to release a sequel. Its first-person shooter appeal, along with its sarcastic dialogue, impressed its gamers worldwide. No video game had presented technology as an antagonist before Portal, and Portal's feminist subtleties introduced strong female characters in mainstream video games.